I have questions. Like, a lot of questions. Um, I'll show you down here. Alright. So, if you're wondering, well, what is that? Um, hang on. It is in the connectors... And what it is, is this one right here. It's a conduit. Basically, it radiates power. And when you have it facing up, it gives like a yellow light to show you the power is there. But, I'm looking at this and I'm like, um, it's not a circle. It's not a circle. Hang on, let me get a better view. It's not a circle. And the reason why I say this is because this right here. This lighting. I would have thought it would be like in a, a little circle area around the, the power source, right? No, no. Check this out. It's so weird, right? I'm going to grab this light here. No electricity. Electricity. No electricity. Still no electricity. Hmm. I mean, I know it's floating. I know it's floating, but that is... That's strange. To me, I'm like, what? Okay, so I'm bringing it over here, right? Let's see, we got electricity. Electricity. Still got power. Still going strong. Doing all right. And nothing. About right there. Hmm. I, I don't know. Now, I would, like, add on here and give a full radius of, like... How how wide does the does this emit power? I I should do that, but um, maybe later on I'll try to figure it out. But I use this a lot because I didn't really want the wires to be shown that much. Hold on. Now, right there, you can kind of see I did have it come out because this needed to be connected. Right there. And, um, hang on, let me get back up to the top. And I struggled with this. I really did because I was like, uh, what in the world is going on here? So I used the emitter there. But it is called the Conduit Power Radiator. And this isn't the only one. There's another one, but it faces down. Faces down. See? That's the down one. And that is the one that faces up. And those are the only two. So... I piped electricity going this way and then I had to put one in the hallway and then I put one in the room that would be the Sears room and then I made this go out that way this right here just to power up the hallway still this powers the hallway and the outside just a little and then that powers the office 
and then it goes out this way which is right here and then I connected it to this and I kind of struggled a little bit trying to get this nice and straight and then I put the emitters right there and there and the reason why was because I had to power up the bathroom and front of the door and then I put an emitter here because it, it doesn't like this little lip right there it doesn't like that and then that's it that's that's the power setup now these emitters right here they do power up the lights going underneath this one right here this powered up a good portion like setting it right there powered underneath and inside of the Sears office and including the garage now of course I could put all the stuff back you know make it look nice like that I have to get back on the roof so okay, I'll see you up go there. ahead and close up the rest of this make it look nice hide up our work so no one has to go what and again I just wanted to make this nice and clean there we go and that's the reason why I said the seer had a fake roof I think they hide all the electricity up here but if each I guess dungeon is like a shelter they still need to power it up I think that looks kind of nice looks clean let me just hang on oh, stairs of doom I struggle with this thing all right okay so we have the power source it's doing what it's doing and it lit up the hallways I think that looks kind of nice you don't really see anything no wires or anything like that and then the Sears room you have this right here yeah I needed to hang on now I don't have all the stuff that she has in her place I will change the wallpaper up fix it up make it a little nicer you have electricity going in here you don't have any wires or anything like that it looks good at least I think it looks good and then it goes this way I put some lighting there lighting goes in here now I use these as a way to determine how much power I was actually getting so that kind of helped me figure it out and then you go downstairs you have power in the bathroom then you have power in here again this is weird check this out I don't know if it's gonna do it all right this right here there's power right but we kind of scoot a little bit closer no power but that's okay because that's actually supposed to be the kitchen area right there so the lighting would be a little bit different maybe the lighting would be that right there so you really wouldn't need this but I thought that was just kind of strange 
Yes, this is what I did. I went over there and I was like, okay. Electricity. Electricity. No electricity. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Alright. And see, there's no electricity right there. But there's electricity there. It's weird. It is so weird. I'm trying to figure out the electrical part of this. Hang on. See, there's no electricity right here. What? Okay, now it's lit because the yellow... We got a yellow lightning bolt over there to the right. But that is the red sand. It requires electricity. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's like... What in the world? <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, anyway... So, right here, there's kind of like no electricity there. Or right here in the corner. But, you have electricity here. And, and right there. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's strange. But I try to do my best to get the lights lit up to where it looks nice. Now, this right there, that's the power. You see that little glow? If you have it upside down, it kind of emits a glow down at the bottom. But I thought, you know what? I don't want to have it right side up. So you got the electricity over here. And then it goes into here. I don't know. I just... For me for me. I like the fact that you don't see any wires. Now, I don't know if other people appreciate that or not, but I do. I think it looks really nice. Do I do this to my build? I'm going to from now on because it, it just looks nice. I wanted to make the Sears place. I think I did an okay job. It's nice and lit up. It's just not decorated. It's not decorated. The basics is what I have right now. And this lighting, guys, if you guys can let me know what is up with this thing. I like to use it more in my builds. It's just... It's very odd that you have have that type of pattern going on. Mm-hmm. That's... I have no idea. Now, it wouldn't be a build if there wasn't any errors. And yes, there is an error. This door is not supposed to be here. And neither is that. Because there's no use for that anymore. This door is actually supposed to be over here. I looked at some of the video footage that I took. I looked at some of the screenshots. looked at my sketch. And I'm like, uh... Now, I had the feeling I was doing something wrong when I was building. But I kind of just ignored it. And I wish I didn't. I could have fixed it when I was building. So, I'm going to have to take this wall down. And I'm going to have to move the stairs. I'm probably going to have to mess with the roof again. And the reason why is because this is not going to snap in place. And you're like, oh, it's just the generator. You just got to move the generator. Eh, wrong. I already have that feeling, that gut feeling telling me, nope, it's not going to snap in place. Nope, it's not going to snap in place. Okay, you know what? Let me fix this mess, and um, I'll be back, okay? Okay, I am finished and done with this build. Yay! Now, I did have to change the power on the roof and the reason why is because I couldn't get one little tiny small lamp to light up <sighs> so I had to put another emitter right there so I have a total of four of them going into the hallway 
and one going into each room. One little tiny small light that just for some whatever reason I don't know just would not light up properly. It drove me crazy. I had to try to figure it out and what am I talking about? I'm talking about this lamp right here. Right there. That. That. Everything else was lit in the hallway. I mean, everything is working, right? But just that one lamp. So I put another emitter up there just to get that working. Oh, goodness. All right. We're going to go ahead and go into the Sears office. Now, I know, I know, some of the furniture doesn't match, but this is the table. That is the bus statue and the clock. And yes, I bought the plans at White Springs just to build, <laughs> just to put her stuff here, okay? Now, you cannot put any outfits inside of the display case, so I just put the helmets in there. And I did my best trying to put up the posters. Now, she had a backpack inside this display case. You can't do that. You can't do that. And she had a different type of chair and everything. Honestly, this looks, looks a lot better. And the reason why I say that is because it is clean. Her office was extremely dirty. The furniture was kind of grimy. I know, it's bad. I, it's true, though. It really is true. This isn't really my style. I, I probably would not have done this. But again, it is the Sears house. And that is the only reason why it is the way it is. Designed. Yes. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> okay, now this is the footage that I, I got when I went to the Overseer's place. This is the office. It's grimy. And I'm like, where's Davenport? What does that robot do? Like, really? Does he stay in the basement all the time? Because he's not cleaning. He's not cleaning up. He's not vacuuming. Look, he could make some wallpaper. He could go to the atomic shop and buy some new wallpaper. I mean, this is the overseer's office, right? She's constantly thinking, coming up with some ideas. And she comes into this dirty, messy place. And I'm thinking, did she just move here? Or has she been here all this time? It's just really, really dirty. They should have it to where you could go clean up the overseer's place. Like a mission. <laughs> now, see, she's got a pickaxe in the display case. Well, you can't do that. You could put um, a pickaxe board, like a display board, and then put the, the display case, like, close to it, to where it looks like that. I forgot to do that. Now... Here's the thing. Um, well, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who's about to do Fallout. But um, that pickaxe, it was a hard mission to do for the Overseer at the end. I mean, I was like, ugh. That, I didn't like it, but I kept the pickaxe. And Last Shot Legacy, he kept the pickaxe too. It was something about it that just kind of like... You know, you wanted to remember Evan. And, you know, so we we kept the pickaxe, both me and him, which I was surprised. He told me, he's like, I kept the pickaxe as well. And I'm like, really? No way. I don't know. I might legendary Evan's pickaxe and see what I get. She's got home is where the heart is. Aw. Right there. And she... You know, she's into music. And she's kind of got like purple. Or it could be blue curtains. I don't know, guys. But I came as close as I could to try to make it look like this. And again, I bought the plans at White Springs to try to do this build. It was expensive. I had 6,000 caps on me. And now, just 900. Yeah, it's pretty sad for me it is like really really sad but I had fun trying to get as close as possible to doing this build that 
Now, the hallway um, was okay. Oh, hold on. Dad, that was my brother telling me food is ready. Now, here I tried my best to get it to look like it did. Now, this is correct except for the tables are wrong. The chairs are correct. The flooring definitely wrong. And I know there was supposed to be, um, hang on. I know there's supposed to be a light right here, but I have maxed out my lights. So, yeah, I can't put it there. Now, I put the paintings kind of like this. I know she had some just on the floor and everything like that. And I even went to go find certain pieces she had in the display case. I could not find the vault tech van, so I just put the Nuka-Cola there. I went to find the Mr. Fuzzy doll. And I put that in there. This right here is her room. Again, it doesn't look like that. You know, cat not a lion but whatever <laughs> the locker and the dresser and she had like a little television that was on this but I just used that and then put the desk over there now here's the strangest thing okay I, I got it as close as I could you know she had a panda on the bed he doesn't look like a panda but he's black and white like a panda all right <laughs> so here's the thing in the sears room she had an extra window now if you look at the room from the outside there's only three windows facing the front entrance but the sears room had an extra window okay so there's two things i thought were kind of interested in about this bedroom of the overseers if it is her bedroom first of all it's dirty it's grimy yet again Davenport I'm looking at you robot guy definitely and there's an extra window and then she has a television set and I'm like television set hmm is she watching my shows no I'm <laughs> just joking <laughs> see look the television is dirty it's all grimy, and then, ta-da, extra window. And I'm thinking, what? But you know what? Again, I just got as close as I could, guys, okay? I tried. Window. So, that's, uh, something I noticed, and I was like, mmm, little tiny mistake. <laughs> Yeah, she's got an extra window right here, but in order for the house to look like it's supposed to on the outside, she doesn't get an extra window. I'm sorry. And if I did go with the staircase that was right here, maybe, just maybe, I could have put certain things right there, but no, no. And why the paintings? When you put them on the brick, they kind of protrude out. I don't know why that's like that. It was like that over here, the poster right here. You see? But again, I'm just getting it as close as I can. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, here's the thing. Check this out. I had to put this emitter here. I had to put this emitter here. Why? It was because I couldn't get this one lamp right here to light up. It wouldn't light up. So by putting the emitter kind of close, it did light up. And I'm like, okay, yay, thank you. And this light right here, I couldn't get to light up either. And what I had to do on this one is I had to go over here and I had to put a emitter right inside here. 
because it's a fake wall. Hang on. Let's pull this a little bit out. Right here. I put the emitter right there just to get that one lamp right there to light up. <sighs> I mean, getting the electricity in this place that was the that was the toughest thing for me. But, you know, I did it. I'm happy. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't Okay, wait, 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 there we go. And I was having trouble with that as well. Sometimes it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, match up. Now, the outside looks okay. Yes, these are not the right chairs, and that's not the right bench, and that's not the right flowers. But, you know, I came close to it. Those are the right chairs right there did have a banjo and a guitar these are the wrong chairs and table as well as the potted plant that's correct and so is this if it was fixed up let's go inside now she had kind of like a yellow and red carpet this is as close as I could get Okay, again, not my style. I would have done everything a little bit differently. I would have moved stuff around, the furniture and everything. You know, the. Now, this is the footage I have of the bathroom of the Sears. And here, she doesn't have a window. But again, if you look outside, there's a window. So invisible window <laughs> I don't know but there is supposed to be a window there but there's not okay you know the bathroom I don't have any working toilet that looks good she did have a lot of clocks I noticed that and then I didn't have a sink so I just kind of put that there I mean don't get me wrong the overseer's living room and kitchen looks great. It really, really does. It's just certain things that are kind of dirty. Like I notice in the walls are a little bit kind of, you know, dirty a little bit. And um, again, where's Davenport? Where is that robot? She's got a nice looking rug down there that, you know, I wish I had. <laughs> I'd love a projector. In order for me to show off my pictures, that would be awesome. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is a nice-looking place, you know. It's a little cramped, a little tiny, but, you know, still, it looks good. She's got kind of like this green wall. And I don't know. I mean, she could put stuff on the shelves and everything like that. Which makes me think this is like a shelter. This is a little tiny small shelter to where you can put items and stuff like that on certain shelves and stuff. But again, they designed this place so they could basically do whatever they want. And I'm in my build struggling because <laughs> I'm like, I wish I could do that too. Now, I know there's probably some tips and tricks out there to where you can, you know, you know, put this here, put that there, right? I know there's there's stuff that you could do like that. Did I look that up? Uh, no, I did not look that up. You know, I just wanted to try to to mimic this build and then just really take a good look at how it is. It's a lot of room, like compared to what I built, it's a lot of room. Now, she's got the kitchen area, which is sort of like this little counter top thing, which, honestly, I like how that looks. I like that that nice color she's got right there on the counter. I'm like, hmm, that looks good. Would I like a workable kitchen? Yes, I would. It would be kind of cool to have. 
again, a lot of clocks. Like, she constantly wants to, wants to know the time. You know, she's got a clock in the, you know, rooms upstairs. She's got a clock in the bathroom, a clock in the kitchen, another clock in the dining room. I mean, I, I would clean this place up if I could. Again, make it a mission. Go clean the overseer's house. <laughs> And and you get caps for doing it, you know. Sweep this up, sweep that up, you know. That would be kind of cool. I would do it. Make it a daily. <laughs> now the piano is correct. The lighting there is correct. Now the chairs aren't. She had these other type of chairs. The table is correct. And yes, even this is correct. The lamps, the chair. Now, this right here, um, it was um, a record player. And then right here is supposed to be where she had that little little projector, you know, playing slides and everything like that. Furniture. This is correct. That's correct. Now, I did take liberties with the kitchen. And the reason why is because I didn't have the countertops. So I kind of made it like this. She did have a this picture and this clock. Again, she had a lot of clocks. A lot of clocks. Like right here, she had the White Springs white clock. I just put the Voltec cuckoo clock there. <laughs> it's loud. It is loud. And then there were supposed to be chairs here, but I can't fit them there. I cannot fit them there. So there, there are no chairs there. I'm sorry. And then I just put this there because she had like a monitor there that opened up this. And I put the stuff that she had there and I just kind of like threw paintings down on the ground and then this. And then this is the shelter that I just threw in there and that is it guys that is as best as I could do in doing this build was it challenging honestly yes yes it was it was challenging the electricity part of of this build really got me thinking and I'm going to try my best to figure out how to put electricity in certain builds that I'll come up with so you don't see the lines and everything like that. I want to make sure it looks kind of clean. Would it matter? Would anyone appreciate something like this? Mm, I don't know. But I'm going to be positive and say, yeah, <laughs> they better. You know, I'm thinking about electricity, and I, I put my build right next to this poor guy. He's like, electricity, I know about electricity. I know a lot about electricity. <laughs> it's horrible. And the weirdest thing about building in Happy Builders, okay, is the fact that a lot of people are wanted. Like, they've, they've done things that makes them wanted and I'm like what did they do what was it did they break into someone's place I know you can lock the doors and everything <sighs> anyway I'm finished with this build we guys think hmm mm, we think we think does it look okay it took a while. It took a while, but it was worth it, I think. I think I did all right.
I bought all these plans at White Springs for those who are wondering. I had the bargaining perk card maxed out, so I didn't have to pay a lot of caps for it. But it did shoot me down from 6000 to 900 Now, I'm just going to destroy this whole build and build something else. No, really. It will exist only on this video. <sighs> Builder's life. This is Comanche Native, and I'll see you next time.